All right, so let's up. So the review again, MFEC, expedient mobile fuel additive capability. Go ahead and remove this. So today and yesterday, actually, you've been teaching the Marines for between here, uh, some guys from 171, some from 172, uh, about the MFAT and how to operate it. You take your pump, you put the pump away. Our vehicles and aircraft have been made for certain requirements. If those fuels don't meet that spec requirement, the longevity and degradation of the equipment is going to be completely different from what we are already tracking. So in a short term, the wear that the fuel is gonna cause, we can't track for a fuel that we don't have specs for. Now the Marine Corps has to figure out a way to get fuel from another country and ship it all the way there. With this, we no longer need to do that. We just simply need to take the MFAT and go and additize that fuel to meet our requirements. Yes, 13. Yes, it passed. One of the biggest advantages of the system is uh, in this specific part of the world, in the Pacific, uh, we have a lot of allies, a lot of partners that might not necessarily have the capabilities to uh, convert Jet A or Jet A1 to JP8 or might not have access to JP8, their ability to make it. So we offer a different capability to our NATO partners uh, in being able to help provide them the service. This is not going to be something that myself or a staff and SEAL is going to be necessarily pulling the trigger on, for lack of better terms. This is something that a young NCO, a corporal, uh, going into a sergeant, uh, is going to be leading a team, a very small team of Marines, a fire team, maybe fire team plus, no more, uh, going out into their austere environment completely alone uh, with this equipment, doing this additization of the fuel, and they're going to be ones leading the fight and making sure that that product is clean, clear, bright, and going to the end user. Thank you.